Ang panahon po ng kwaresma ay pangkaraniwang panahon para gumawa ng mga bagay-bagay para sa Diyos. Meron tayong penitensya, fasting, abstinence, tanda na minamahal natin ang Diyos at mabuti tayong katoliko. Pero hindi po yon ang buod ng kwaresma. Because the essence of Lent is not about men and women doing something for God. The essence of Lent is about reflecting together what God has done for men and women. Ang ibig pong sabihin, ang dapat nating tingnan ay hindi ko ano yung gagawin natin para sa Diyos. Ang dapat nating tingnan ay ano ba ang ginawa ng Diyos para sa akin? Ano ba ang ginawa ng Diyos para sa akin? At ano ba ang patuloy na ginagawa ng Diyos para sa akin? In the first reading, the word is patience. God has promised after the destruction of the world, after the great flood, from now on, I will be patient. I will be patient even if they turn away from me. Pagtitiisan ko na lang to. Titiisin ko yung pagtataksil nila. Hindi ko na uulitin ang malaking baha sapagkat siya mismo ay nagsabi, hindi ko kayang gawin ito. Hindi na dapat maulit ito. The patience of God. The book of Genesis wrote about God like a human being. Sabi ay, nagsisi ang Diyos, bakit ko pa ginawa ito? Bakit ko pa nilikha ito mga taong ito? Bakit ko pa nilikha itong mundong ito? Wawaldasin lang pala nila. Ang ganda-ganda ng ginawa ko, sinira nila. At ang sagot sa galit ng Diyos ay ang malaking baha. And God said, no more. Each time we see the rainbow, the rainbow is a sign of the patience of God with us, even if we have turned away from Him. The second reading from St. Peter is purification. We have sinned. Who has been offended? God. And yet, who purifies us? God also. Ganoon katindi ang pagmamahal ng Diyos. Siya na ang nasaktan, siya pa ang naglilinis doon sa mga sumugat sa Kanya. Siya na ang sinampal, siya pa yung nag-check doon sa kamay, baka nasaktan yung kamay mo. Siya na yung sinaksak, siya pa yung naglinis ng sibat at sinabi, mag-iingat ka, baka masugatan ka ng sarili mong sibat. Can you imagine that kind of love? The offended one is the one who says, I want to cleanse you, I want to forgive you, I want to purify you. And how are we purified? By baptism. By the waters of baptism, we are purified from sin. Paano pinapakita ng Diyos ang pagmamahal sa atin? Una, sa pamamagitan ng patience. Pangalawa, sa pamamagitan ng purification. Kapag ang nanay pinapaliguan yung kanyang baby, di ba tandahin ang pagmamahal? Kapag yung nanay pinapaliguan, nililinis, pinapalitan ng damit, pinapalitan ng lampin yung kanyang maruming anak. Di ba tandahin ang pagmamahal? And that is how God loves us. God purifies us not for Himself. God purifies us for our sake because we are incapable, disabled from purifying ourselves. Hindi natin kayang maligo 
di natin kayang pagalingin ang sarili natin. Kaya yung sinaktan mismo natin, siya pa rin ang nagpapagaling sa atin. What a love! The third P for today, you will find in the Gospel. Ano ang sabi sa Ebanghelyo? Naroon yung mga mababangis na hayop. Pero hindi sila mabangis kay Jesus. At kasama ng mababangis na hayop ay ang mga anghel. Kailan nangyari na ang anghel at ang mababangis na hayop ay nagkasama? When did that happen? It happened some time ago. Where? In paradise. In paradise, the lions and the tigers and the serpents and the wild beasts were coming together without any danger. And angels were walking with beasts. At yun ang image na ibinibigay sa atin ng gospel. After the Lord's temptation in the desert, He was with beasts. He was with angels. There was no threat. There was no risk. There was no beastly character. There was no animal behavior. And angels and animals were living together. Paradise. Paano pinapakita ng Diyos ang pagmamahal sa atin? Sa pamamagitan ng pagbabukas ng paraiso para sa atin. Tatlong salita sa unang linggo ng Kwaresma. My dear brothers and sisters, these three words are words of love for us. Patience, purification, paradise. The love of God will always be patient even if sometimes we are impatient with Him and with ourselves. The love of God will always purify us because we are incapable of cleansing ourselves. The love of God has opened paradise for us. Wala nang asal na makahayop. Ang anghel at ang hayop ay magsasama sapagkat ang gusto ng Diyos mamuhay tayo sa paraiso. That is how God loves you. And don't ever doubt kung mahal ka ng Diyos. Ang dapat natin gawin, bilangin natin kung kaya natin ang pamamaraan ng Diyos para ipakita ang kanyang pagmamahal sa atin. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please look for Father Sok on YouTube and I hope you can subscribe to the channel. There I can meet you with more reflections, with more homilies, and then we can interact. And you can also tell me the questions in your heart the questions in your mind, which I hope I can also answer in the same channel. It is not technology that brings us together. It is the Lord. It is not technology that has brought us together. It is our love for the Lord and our love for the church. May the Spirit continue to work in all of us. God bless you.